outside playing, what can I say about it? Um, how do you effectively use it? Um, a lot of the times, outside playing is categorized as just tension and release, and that's what we're doing. We're maybe playing a couple notes outside the scale and then figuring out a way to smoothly transition back to home base. It's not just um, the notes you're playing. It's not just shifting those notes out of place. It's also thinking about where you're placing it with the music that's happening behind you. For example, I really like placing more outside ideas at the end of four bar phrases because a lot of the time that's kind of when a lot of movement's happening. Maybe the drummer's playing a fill or something else like that. Um, maybe the bassist is playing a little bit busier or just doing something different. And you'll find that if you put outside ideas kind of and then land right back on the one on bar five, then it'll be really satisfying. It's a really nice uh, feeling to get that. How do we play outside? For people who aren't used to playing outside, um, especially guitar players, um, there is something that you can kind of try to twist your ear into getting used to that sound. And that's basically taking the pentatonic scale, um, sliding into notes outside of that scale. I can show you what I mean. Um, we can take that A minor pentatonic scale. And let's take the top note of each string and kind of slide into half step above. And what you get is a pentatonic scale and then you have sort of outside ideas like um, So um, there we get the, the major third, we get the um, major seventh, and we get the flat five. But yeah, the idea is to get used to hanging on some of those notes and, um, and just being able to hear that in your head as like, oh yeah, I can land there. So let's, let's play to the backing track and I can kind of show you what I mean. Anyway, that's the idea. Um, so if you aren't used to playing other scales, like maybe the Dorian scale or anything else, start with that. And then the next step, level two of that, is basically being able to sidestep with something like the pentatonic scale. You know, just taking that shape, and then either moving the whole shape up half a step, or starting from below. And that kind of sounds like this. This is a really cool trick. Another idea you can take is using the altered scale to resolve back into A minor. So what I like to do is think of the 5 chord of whatever home key that I'm in. So I'm in the key of A minor, so that means the 5 chord would be E7, E7 sharp 9. And I would take the E altered scale and use that as a um, device to get back into A minor. And what's really cool about that is that you're taking an idea that's very functional in nature. E, the E7 to A minor is just such a common sound that if you superimpose five to one ideas over a static um, chord progression like I got here, 
then it makes a lot of sense because your ear is already used to hearing that kind of resolution. You know, that means you could also use um, diminished, half hole diminished, and whatever. But um, let's take a look at the uh, E altered scale, which is um, F melodic minor. <laughs> So another way to play using the altered scale um, is to just think of it in pentatonic form. So E altered has G minor pentatonic. So if you play G minor pentatonic back to A minor pentatonic, you're also creating a 5 to 1 movement. And that's a really cool sound too. It sounds a little bit like this. a little bit to alter it at the very end there but as you can see it's like a very um, wide intervallic sound um, very ambiguous and it's just cool so take some of these ideas and uh, hope you have fun with them <laughs>